Hey everybody, welcome back. It's more Fire Emblem Three Houses. For those who uh, don't immediately remember what happened last time, and wondering why we're just advancing the day when we probably shouldn't be doing that, uh, I I got farther into the into the Thank game off so screen much. for once. I just did. I just spent a day doing one free time battle and then two side quest battles. Thanks. Uh, I felt I, I felt the need in making certain people stronger, and also I was bored. So I went ahead and took care of that, and uh, we have moved on to the next week. Feel like that's reasonable. Now, when I loaded this, I was like, oh, "Okay, I'll just have Felix, uh, Felix, go over here into into the Mortal Savant." This thing ever at the start of every week does a roll on whether or not you can get it, and he failed. He can't get this. The odds of passing are 90 motherfucking percent. Now nah, though, nah, nah, I, I, you're reaching for the stars there, buddy, and I don't think you're gonna reach it. But the time has come for the ambush at, let's get to it. Having received the Kingdom Army's plea for aid, Rodrigue has agreed to provide soldiers. In order to meet up with their reinforcements, the Kingdom Army sets out for Elel, the Valley of Torment. This valley isn't a place I'd care to return to. After the chilliness of Fargus, I can't seem to adjust to this extreme heat. Historically, there have been battles whose outcomes were determined in part by the climate. You can't argue that this heat isn't a factor. In conditions like these, who knows what will become of our morale. Professor, be honest. How are you holding up? Never imagined it would be like this. Monks once used this area as an ascetic training ground because of the intense environment. They say Alel was born of the goddess's rage. Hadn't heard that before. If you believe the legends, this valley is evidence of the goddess's judgment, passed on humanity for its corruption. The forest that once covered the surrounding area was burnt to ash by a pillar of light that descended from the heavens. That legend fueled belief in a place of torment between our world and the next, where one's sins are purified in the cleansing flames. Nonsense. Sins are not so easily washed away. Indeed, and there are no accounts of such a place in scripture. Yet those who cannot face their own sins have no choice but to cling to the idea. I just don't think I can take this heat anymore. I think I'm starting to see things. Near those mountains over there. Is it just me? Or is there a group of people gathered there? No. It would seem you are not hallucinating after all. Are those Rodrig soldiers? No. But their banner is that of... <gasps> no! It can't be. That is House Rose Banner. They curried favor with that witch, and sold out Vargas! We messed up. There must have been a spy among us. Will you have us meet them in battle, or wait for Rodrigue to arrive? There is only one option. How kind of them to save us the trouble of killing them later. They sold out the kingdom, right? I will not repeat myself. That banner belongs to the Grey Lion. It's a waste of breath to exchange words with one such as him. His Highness is correct. He is not an opponent whom we can expect to negotiate with. Everyone, prepare for the attack! Well, we have ourselves a battle to prepare for, and I appreciate that they, uh, forced these two into battle, mainly just because I, uh, had them in reserves. 
Am I fine with this setup here? Uh, not really. I would like a dancer out there. She could... She could probably be useful for that. Unassign. Who's high leveled who doesn't need to be in this fight, maybe? I'm, yeah, fine. What I'll do is I'll do this and then set you up with her. No, I can't do that. Yeah, you need to be, like, friends. Hmm. This always ends up being uh, pretty complicated, but I can, I can get something here. Fine, you're not fighting then. I'm sorry, but it takes me ten years to figure out what I want. I make one adjustment. Of torment. Perhaps a good place to finish off my life as a knight. Only if that puny force of children is able to kill me, of course. That man who raises the lion's flag, Lord Gwendol. He is an elder knight who serves House Row. Gwendol would, without thought, fight any battle for him. There is no chance of negotiating. I'm, I'm trying to cool off, sorry. Hail is a deadly place. Flames burst from the ground with no warning. Sane people usually avoid it. So the flames of torment burn your sins, your life, your everything. If you wish to spare yourself the goddess's wrath, tread lightly. Does he always have to be so What's cool about it? There we go. Much more comfortable. Dance on me. Greetings. It is I. You may remember me from such things as murdering you right now. As soon as I figure out how I'm going to do it. I can't murder this man at all. Let's change our course of action. Another victory. This All right, we're gonna need some backup over there. Guide me well. And we're not gonna get it. Uh, however, ready when you are. Getting some flyers over here will uh divert a little bit of attention. At your service. And you can cast spells. Let's start moving I'll some of you up here. I'm your girl. I do this for all of us. Huh. You can reach things. You can reach things and miss. That's great. Uh, let's not do that. Cut through. What's the plan? We have four there, and we've got four here. No, we got five here. I didn't count myself up there. Let's even this out. Nice try. You're not very good, are you? You defeat me? Right. I can feel it in my bones. <laughs> he said bones. Once again, everyone's uh, doing quite well. Next try. Given the little damage she did, I'm guessing her Luin is broken. Too slow. No plans on hitting in this battle, huh? Okay, now they figured it out. That's called the setup to a joke. Now she still has a little bit more energy in this. She's just really bad against that that unit. Okay. Then let's move her where the units she can hurt are. And I want. <laughs> it looked like I was in the right spot, but I was not. <laughs> That's two hits, but it won't finish it. So let's do a little special attack. No! You, you... Bitch, I'm just gonna blow your weapon right now. I'm, I, I can't even do that. Eh, do it like this. 
I can do no less. Oh, you gotta crit anyway. Fuck no. No. No, I'm no, I, I refuse. I refuse to get owned like that. If you're gonna fucking get Ready, the crit move anyway, on. move to this spot and don't use my important piece of equipment. The crib was based on that weapon. Fine! You'll hear from my lawyers later. I shall now move you here because good god do you die all the time. Guide me well. Now I'm sure you know how to get the job done. Destiny unfurls. Oh uh, yeah, you have you are uh, obligated to move. What's my strategy? Now's our chance. Gambit. It won't be in vain. Hmm. What the hell is this? What is the? Uh, oh God, I, I have I have no idea what the what this gloop is. Oh, it's clicking into an enemy. My bad. All right. Uh, should probably uh, scale back on the amount of bad guys over here. <laughs> you thought. I'm your girl. Sure, I could gambit, but I'd much rather you hit something. And if you can hit from any range, I'll just have you use a use a weak one. I'm nobody's fool. Alright. I'll comply. Let's move you deeper in. Take him out. Woo! All talk and no action. What's the plan? All right, everyone's gonna be in a little bit of pain, but we need to get past this part. Onward. All right, we have some problems that I've just left these people here with no, nah, with nothing really going on. Guess we'll take out the horseman. At your service. A tragic end. All right. Still a lot of troops to come through. Owie! Fuck you. You're done. Another victory. Good job, Gilbert. You really contributed there. Did he just get one fucking? I think he only got one point. I could be blind, but whatever. Kill that guy too. I must lead them well. Shoot all you want. Your aim is worse than me. Nah, we mainly just want to get out of the burning. Granted, not everybody's going to be able to do that, but, you know, we're trying our best. Okay. Let's just do a perfectly calm set of slashes. It won't be in vain. You didn't even need to go for that, but hey, sometimes you want 111 damage. Truly impressive. Ah, God damn it! I hate this extra movement thing with with those specific units because I always forget about it. I'll end this quickly. 
My duty is your death. I'm counting on you. Now, let's have you move up. Hold on, that's a bad move. At your service. Onward. So healthy. There. She needs every little bit of help that she can get. Yeah, heal that point. That point was important. Well, goodbye. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> I got excited. It was a crit, ladies and gentlemen. There was reasons to be pumped for what was to happen. You know, until until it happened. And then you went, oh, oh man. Uh, that was quite the quite the move. Ow, wait! I'm your girl. Uh, um, what's the plan? Kill him. You knew the odds. I did. I knew that odds were were there. I'll cut through. Injuries mean nothing. No, they mean something. All, all right. We'll split this into two there, so you're going there and two are going this way. What's my strategy? This will bait people out, and that's gonna be pretty Got good. Well. I'll have you rest here. Use Ragnarok on you. Boom! Don't even need the baloney anymore. Be at peace. My works. Yeah, getting them some levels was definitely a good bit helpful. Thanks. Yes, heal Dimitri. All right, who's not moved? Ah, yes, you. Ready when you are. Get further. All right, next turn we've got. It all comes down to this. As expected, they're all coming for me. I, I obtained sacred power, and uh, yeah, they're just—they're uh, like, man, we really want to fuck up, fuck up, set at the Bible. and um, it's not happening. Oh, I love it. It was meant to be. I fight and grow stronger. Hmm, they're big ass leaders uh closing in. Is this my last stand? Eleven sword plus on this guy. There we go. Alright, next. Alright, we'll stay in the gaps for now. Hmm. I have to wonder if anyone has, like, a key. Eh, it'd be great, but, you know, no such luck. I'll comply. I'll destroy you! God, your, your crit rate I'll is pretty good. And it's only like 24, like so it's like a 1 in 4 chance of it popping, I guess. And he's still getting things done really easily. Ah, sh oh, no, my shit's broken. We need to get you a uh, get you one. There we go. You shall wait there, and at your earliest convenience, you'll murder some. Meanwhile, our nun will take care of things. And when I said my nun will take care of things, don't worry, I meant it. We can't be careless. I meant it, all right. A attack with fire. 
Burn to the ground. Let's keep our guard up. Eh, that won't kill. And also, it's a little too risky. I'll move here and do a hit. Really didn't need this crit, but, you know, who am I to complain of big damage numbers? <laughs> Does a whelp like you really expect to kill me? I am Gwendol, the Grey Lion, a knight by the hand of Count Roe. Do your worst. Allow me to demonstrate. And the follow-up. He's like, okay, I really need to back up a little bit. Yeah. I disposed of doubt long ago. And with each kill, more monstrous. Zoinks! You're trying to kill me! All is going to pull. Too weak for this world. Apologies. Ah, damn, you healed them. Rodrigue! So Cornelia has planted spies even inside Garrett Mock. The shield of Fargus has appeared. We can expect more out of him than the young ones. All right, good. We have a new lose condition. Ow! Uh. Yeah. Injuries mean nothing. Hmm. Hold on. What's the upper limit of your movement? Put him here. And then you go here and dance on him. Waste the effort. Ah, close, but won't get the kill just yet. You can assist. I'd like him to get the kill, because, you know, I know he doesn't like him. The man praised as a lion is degraded to a mere traitor's underling. A traitor's underling? That's upsetting, your highness. I am, and always have been, a knight of House Rome. How dare you? You are nothing but a lowly beast scavenging for scraps. You have forgotten the dignity of knighthood. I may be lowly, but this beast is devoted to his master. <laughs> then I had better kill the pet and deliver its head to that master. <laughs> so I have found a place to die. Young ones, I thank you. It is the way of knights to follow their master's orders without argument. Lord Gwendol was a good man. Now he is just a corpse, nothing more. Let's go. Rodrigue is waiting for us. Rodrigue, you did so much in this battle. It's been too long, your highness. But try to temper your joy, will you? This is a war, after all. To say such a thing at a time like this... You have not changed one bit. Don't let looks deceive you. I've had a rough go of it ever since I crossed blades with those traitors in Ferdiad. When I, when I got there, I was fed some garbage about not being able to see your body. The next thing I knew, I was gripping my blade and... <sighs> Gilbert? You have done well to locate His Highness. I am truly grateful. And you. I have you to thank as well. We were all fortunate. Well, we are in your debt. 
I will repay you for this someday, I swear it. And you, Felix. You have also done well to bring His Highness here. <laughs> tell us all you know, Roderick. I'm afraid there's not much to tell. You are aware that the western region of the kingdom was taken by the Empire, correct? Yes, so I have heard. They are now calling it the Fargus Dukedom, or some nonsense. If you know that much, then the rest won't take long. Enemy or not, it's undeniable that Cornelia's plan was nothing short of genius. After seizing power, she invited the Imperial Army to Ferdiat. There, she reorganized her troops, and then sent soldiers to hunt me down. Because of that, we were forced to act defensively, and now we're being forced into a difficult battle. She's been controlling the situation all along. So that's been the witch's plan from the start. I should have killed her ages ago. Your Highness, Ferdiad is in a terrible state right now. The tyranny is unbearable, and so the rebellions are endless. Refugees starve to death in the streets. If I may speak freely, Your Highness. We should change course for Ferdiad and take down those traitors before we embark to Enbar. There's no time for that. We must annihilate Enbar before all else. Think this through. I understand wanting to destroy the Empire and the Emperor. I want that so much it hurts. But which is more important, the dead or the living? Silence! No, Dimitri. You will hear me out. Are you asking me? Asking the dead to forgive that woman? No, I would not ask that of you. What I am asking is that you allow us to prioritize the Kingdom Capital over the Imperial Capital for now. As Lambert's close and trusted friend, I am confident that he would have advised the same. Do not dare to put words in the mouths of the dead. They are your words alone, even if you borrow their lips. Until I offer up that woman's head, Father will remain a slave to his lingering regret and hatred. Even now, he suffers. It is ceaseless. As we waste time with idle chatter, his suffering continues! <sighs> you are my king. Our king. Wherever you lead, we will follow. But your highness... There are those who take up their sword in the name of revenge, and yet along the way, lose the strength and composure to follow through. You would do well to bear that in mind. Ah, I nearly forgot. Take this, Your Highness. The time has come for it to be wielded by its true master. Erikvar? The hero's relic once wielded by my father. The very same. I managed to steal it back from one of Cornelia's underlings in Ferdiad. Understated as ever, Father. It must have been a true struggle to get it back. I... I am grateful, my friend. Gilbert, Professor, may I request something of you? I wish to fight at your side. Senile already, old man? Who will protect our territory? I expected it would come to this, so I left those matters to my younger brother. He has my complete faith. I must keep my promise to our fallen king, to my dear friend. A very old one. I swore it nearly 10 years ago. Now then, your highness, let's destroy the empire together. My men and I will spare no effort. I pray that you are right and that this will save the kingdom. Our orders are to capture Enbar by striking the enemy's stronghold directly. How familiar are you with the geography of Fodlin? Uh, very familiar. I'm a teacher. Then you must be aware that the Kingdom and the Empire are separated by the impassable Ogma Mountains, right? Legend has it that Saint Seros once crossed over those mountains to fight against the fell king Nemesis. But don't fool yourself. Leading a large army over such steep mountains would be near impossible. In order to infiltrate the Empire, 
We have no choice but to go around the mountains, either to the east or to the west. Uh, east? Yes, I agree. The Alliance is currently split in two. Those who stand with the Empire and those who are against it. Leading the Imperial faction is House Gloucester, while House Regan leads those who oppose. We should take advantage of their internal conflict and proceed east along the mountains until we reach the Great Bridge of Murden in Alliance territory. Why there? The Aramid River divides Alliance and Empire territory. There are many large bridges that cross it. However, the Great Bridge of Murden is by far the largest, and it is also closest to the monastery. I believe you crossed that bridge five years ago on your journey to the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. Hmm. What if the Empire and the Alliance both attack? I'm afraid it's a possibility, but it's still more practical than passing through the West. Perhaps our next move should be to contact House Regan and request their cooperation. You think they'll help? Claude of House Regan is the leader of the Alliance and is firmly against the Empire. They are the enemy of our enemy. In other words, hopefully, a friend. Are you suggesting that we ask House Regan to engage the Gloucester soldiers? I am. If we take the bridge, then House Gloucester will no longer be able to receive support from the Empire. There's no way a man as wise as Claude would refuse our request. And once we manage to capture the Great Bridge and gain a foothold into the Empire, then we cross Grander Field and head south toward Enbar. But if we get attacked from both sides, we'll have to fight people from the Alliance, won't we? Speaking of House Gloucester, I wonder how Lawrence is holding up. If we meet him again, it will probably be as enemies. To be honest, I'd rather avoid seeing him altogether. If you do not wish to kill familiar faces, do not tarry over the corpses of the dead. <laughs> Good advice. Prepare yourselves. It is time to steal your souls for the task at hand. 